Hello guys and welcome to episode 10 of my Roamer section 2.5 Ponte Selfie. This is Sitspawn and we just took the town of Heraclea and depopulated it. And yeah, everything seems to be going pretty well. Mazika expanded and we'll go ahead and just take care of that. And when I say everything's going pretty well, I mean the Celicids are besieging Tarsus and about to siege Antioch. But besides that, they're going fantastic. Antioch just finished building and recruited three units of Greek Slingers, which we're probably going to desperately need here very shortly. And I don't know how confident I actually am in this garrison in the face of the Seleucid army. I know I sounded confident earlier and I kind of was, but it's different, you know, saying it and then the type of the armies that the Seleucids usually field, if they field good ones, are pretty deadly, so I am definitely going to hope my army gets here in time to help, especially here at Tarsus, because otherwise I'm totally screwed. They don't have any siege equipment here, and I'm assuming they don't have any elephants or catapults, or they would have already attacked. So I should be able to save Tarsus, at the very least. And hopefully Antioch will be able to hold out at least against one siege with its stone walls and plenty of ranged units. That's my hope. We'll see what actually happens. Uh, I do need to get a garrison for Heraclea, Heraclea started. I don't think I can really train anything here at Sinope, not really. Let's just get my usual garrison here. Though, I am going to be right on a border with the Allied, uh, the Pergamon, the Pergamese now, so I might want one or two heavy units, but if they attack there, it probably won't make much of a difference, so I don't want to do anything too expensive. We'll see. I mean, always send these guys. I don't want to really recruit them yet. One, I can't really retrain them anywhere except for Amasia. And two, the Pontus really wouldn't be using them for quite a while yet. So I might not wait till they would have historically used them because that will be hundreds of turns down the road. But it feels kind of weird using Roman units in the 200s BC with Pontus. So we'll see. Do I have any governors sitting around that can be sent there, though? Let's find out. I do have this one that just came of age here. Okay, so it looks like we are going to be training a new general here as well in Amasia. So let's get that going. And Ptolemy's, the Seleucids just bought you some time, so say thank you. My Lord. You know, I mean, I guess this is useful to still be allied with them, because they are still at war with the uh, Seleucids. So hopefully they can bring some pressure on them from the south and draw some of these armies away. We'll see. Hmm. Oh wow, there's another one here too. Not a very big one, but still. Well, can't really do anything about it for the moment, so let's just go ahead and end the turn. And Antioch is under siege officially. Holy crap. They are pulling out all the stops to kick me out here. I mean, it really was just a matter of time, but I was, you know, I was hoping they'd just ignore me. But, I guess I kind of started it. Okay. Let's just keep on growing Amasia up. Trapezus. Let's make you an occupied region. I can use the extra cash here, and you seem to be pretty happy. Mazika, you're expanding. Hmm. 
Okay. Wow, and this army actually really is a terrible siege army. If I had any decent amount of heavy infantry, I probably could have just held Tarsus. But whatever. It's going to die in the field just as easy. Ooh. And I could kill Antiochus III. That would be awesome. He even has Hannibal with him. <laughs> That's awesome. Sorry, Hannibal. If you'd only come over to me, things would have been so much better for you. You know, besides besides losing the second Punic War and being humiliated, it would be better for you. Good lord, he's got a crap ton of traits. But, that's pretty awesome. Well, it would be even more hilarious if Hannibal was still a uh, Carthaginian general over under Carthage's command at the same time. But now I'm rambling. You should be used to that by now, though. Alright. Let's get my troops lined up, and I will get right back with you guys here. Alright, I've got my army set up, and let's get this battle started. Now, I was looking at this army, and I really don't have much heavy infantry, so I'm glad I'm going up against this light-style army. Because, honestly, I have more heavy infantry than them, but mine's pretty light as well. Lots of cavalry, and only eight true heavy infantry in a full stack army, so. I did not move my catapults here, so. I might honestly just withdraw the crew if they start to get attacked. I don't know. I don't want to lose that. I will need that to take some cities in the future. I don't want to bother paying for new ones. And they really can't maneuver very well in the woods. So, let's see. I'm going to start moving these horse archers around their flank here. Let's take a quick look at their army. Tons of Peltists and Acontistine, the first line. Still more skirmish units. Wow, they might have the unit of the levy pikemen as their only true heavy infantry, and it's levy. But their cavalry is definitely a different matter entirely. What's going on here? Oh, they're just stupidly charging my horse archers. Let them. That won't turn out well for them, I promise. Some Tarantines coming over as well. Those could be a little more annoying. Javelin Cav can at least do some decent damage on occasion. But I'm just going to go ahead and charge them. I've got numbers and quality. So they should be out in no time. Yeah, and getting shot up in the process. But wow, these Acontista I want to want to tango. That really won't play out well for them. I want to know if these casualties are just from javelins or if they're self-inflicted right now. Nah, no one seems to be shooting, so we're good. And... They decided to be cute and move up some heavy peltists here. But that really shouldn't... They probably should not have done that. Though they did attack me in the trees just to annoy me. So, good on them there, I guess. Alrighty. These Acontisti are dead. So let's just reset up my horse archers here to start shooting their units in the flank. And as soon as these stupid heavy peltists are dead, I will advance the rest of my army. Well, they sent some eastern skirmishers as well. Let's see if I can get a hammer and anvil charge to get them out of here. Oh, 
Uh, let's take out those archers. In the meantime, I will go ahead and hit them in the back. And they are attacking here, but that's fine. If they start chasing me, that's a good thing. I'll happily shoot the crap out of these generals here. Okay, good. I think I got these guys taken care of here, so let's reset my army up and keep advancing. And good. I think we're taken out there. Oh, they have, do have some more levy pikemen. They were just hiding or something. Or they could just be all... Yeah, I think they're probably were just all clumped together. Let's start targeting these Babylonian horse archers with my archers. Let's see. I'm going to put those guys at the end there, just to make moving my army easier. Let's move up to about here. And this is going pretty well. They've lost already about half their army, jeez. This is what happens when it's all light units. Oh, this general wants a tango again. Perfect, he's losing some guys. Let's target these guys this time. And keep advancing just to keep them on their toes. We'll let my archers stay on the hill and just keep firing at them. Sweet, and I can reach those Babylonian horse archers still, so let's... Oh, they have two units of them too. I definitely want to work on that. And I have my archers on guard mode, so they won't run out into the open if they get out of range. Handy little trick. And... There we go. It's waiting for some of them to fall. Now let's go ahead and charge them from two sides here. Oh yeah, there goes that general. And these Babylonian horse archers are getting weakened pretty significantly here. And time to pull these guys out. I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to swing them around this way. Nope, they're retreating. Perfect. Let's just shoot them in the back. Ah, oh, yeah. Feel it. Skirmish. Oh, if he hadn't turned around right there, that would have been bad. I'm not sure what he was doing, but I'm not complaining. Alright, let's start targeting these Babylonian horse archers now. That first one's down to only nine guys. And we might as well advance the rest of my army once again. First, let's get him back in position. Oh, never mind. They're advancing to me anyways. Can't say it was a smart move, but hey. watch these guys get slaughtered. This is the reason why I don't use large number of horse archers in my army. Easy as hell to win, but it gets kind of boring. If I mean, it's, it's fun for a while, but believe me, if you were just sitting there watching, it would get kind of dull. Alright, 
Let's charge this guy, see if we can't take him out. Alright, I think we're good to go ahead and just let my cavalry roam free at this point. Oh wait, nope, that general's still alive. <laughs> no bodyguard, but he's still alive. Go for it. How is he alive? There we go. Eh, uh, Antiochus the third is dead. Now let's just start chasing everyone down. No, oh, I thought I had fire at will off on them. They started hurting my own troops. You guys get them. You guys get them. You guys actually come this way. Well, this, this was a not really that intense of a battle. But like I said, they brought a really ill-equipped army for this kind of field army. And continue the battle, but it's only got a couple seconds left, so we'll just triple speed it. I'm not sure what's going on over here. It should have been ended a while ago. Ah. The AI is just terrible at um the pathfinding, I guess it's just really bad chasing down routing units. I'm saying run, so run. Alrighty. Well, you know what? I'll just see you guys the results screen. Here we go. <laughs> yes, many many Greeks did all the work today. Definitely not horse archers. Good lord, yeah. 445 kills between my two horse archer units. And my Scythian archers probably, yeah, were 173 each. So no, I don't think many Greeks did any fighting today. <sighs> Alright, so that's one Seleucid army down with almost no losses. And this one's running away. Ooh, this one is a little better suited here. You get to fight some nice Persian units too, that's cool. Yeah, this is a much better army than the last one we just killed. Make a quick save here, guys. Still battle save. And start this up. So yeah, we're going to have plenty of battles in this episode. Always fun. I enjoy my empire building, but I know you guys can get bored if we don't have some good old-fashioned killing. <sighs> Alright. Per usual, I'll set up my army and be right back. Alrighty, I'm all set up. Essentially the same formation as last time. And, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's get this battle started. Once again, oh, I'm not going to bother retreating my catapults. I actually put them over by my army this time, so let's just go ahead and get moving here. I really want to get past the tree line before they attack this time. Makes it much easier. Let's go ahead and line my catapults up right here. I don't know how much I'm going to do with them, but... We'll see. I may not even use them. So yeah. So my Acontista in the first line. Good medium infantry in second. Probably have some hidden guys right here or something. Now hopefully, yeah, they're just charging my horse archers here. That's fine.
I don't think they have any actual archers this time, so it should be good to just shoot the crap out of their troops here. But, don't worry, I'm not just going to leave that at that. I want some good uh, actual clash here in this battle, since we kind of had a lackluster anticlimactic battle last time. So we're just going to continue advancing the army up. I don't know why they're not shooting. There we go. Come on, guys. Leave some of the units for me to actually fight here, please. Speed this up. Okay. Much closer. Alright, let's go ahead and thin out the rest of their skirmishers here. Good. They're starting to retreat a little bit. And let's go just work on their skirmish cav. Save me a headache. Oh, please chase me. Perfect. Getting their cav out of the equation already. Gonna hit them with javelins on one side and arrows on the other. Let's go ahead and chase these guys down here. Perfect. Now these cavalry really do have free reign on this side. It's ideal. And let's crush these cavalry here. Leave them alone, they're just going to run away. Did not want to go into loose formation there. Crap. Turn my archers off so I don't get any more friendly fire going here. Give you some close-ups since I've been a little busy. Wow, that was quick. Another quick and easy victory here. So this army may be infantry light, but it's definitely not weak. This army would be a lot more resembling, minus the um, phalanx troops here of Mithridates the six later tactics against the Roman Empire when he really started to go towards guerrilla tactics and away from the classic field battles here. A little more of a mix because I am still using some Romanish style troops with the Thoracotai, but you get the you get the gist.
Alright, well, I'll get back to you with the results screen, guys. Alright. Oh. Well, that invasion by the Seleucids was not nearly as threatening as I had supposed. They did not send very high-quality armies against me. Even that one, though, is better than the last one. Its best units were light to medium Persian units at best. None of the heavy phalanx units or super heavy Thrakatag Agaris, but I'm used to fighting them. I mean, honestly, the Seleucids probably have the best infantry and heavy cavalry roster in the game. Well, heavy cavalry, you know, they have the Parthians and the Sarmatians, but out of any of the civilized factions, theirs are probably the scariest. And, you know what? I think Antioch can handle itself, but let's just head down here either way, just in case. Might sack Laodica just to send a message. And Heropolis, even. We can get away with it. Send my spy on here and see what's going on. on, my way. on my way. Hmm. I don't really see any other big armies in the area, so... We might do that indeed. Might just actually snatch Laetica. It gives the border of the Ptolemies, but we already have an extensive one up here in Anatolia anyways, so... Alrighty. One more turn and this general will be done. I really don't want to send this guy. I think I want him to be a either a future field army leader or get a more important city for him because he's looking like he could shake up to be pretty good. Alright. Yeah. Diplomat. Still just kind of sitting there. Nothing for him to do at the moment. Honestly, I think we've done everything we need to do. Well, actually, I got a little more money, so let's spend it. Repair the walls here. I hadn't done that yet. Wow. And a small shrine to Ares. That's a nope. Mm. I could make them an autonomous city to help their happiness problems, but I think there's plenty of temples we can build for that, too, so give them some tribal justice, first of all. I can always destroy this communal tribute if needed. Preferably not, though. They're they're in a home region, so there's not much point unless I have to. Oh, Apamea. Government determination. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and. Send these guys up to Mazaka to be retrained. And Tarsus is still building. Antioch is not going to be building this turn anyway, so no point wasting money on it. I think everyone that can build is building. Yep, everywhere besides Antioch. Perfect. I have a little bit of cash left over. That's great. I should have a garrison here in no time at all. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and queue up some roads here, because I will definitely need at least some basic transportation. I wonder, do I even have a navy right now? Nope. I don't really need one, though, so that's okay. It'd just be a drain on money for the moment. So, let's end the turn. And they're bringing a few little small forces over here, but nothing too big. Alrighty. Satala. What will we do with you? You still need to be a little happier, so we'll give you a Shrine of Apollo. Tarsus, you're still not nearly as happy as I'd like you to be. So 
So a shrine to Hera will be in order. Sinope. Hmm. Oh wow, their mines are worthless. Let's go ahead and get that built for you. Free five up or er, free five uh, happiness bonus. Apamea, you're not very happy, and you're still on low taxes too. So simple varies. Heraclius is building roads. All right, we've got a ton of money left over, even with Antioch being besieged. Which I kind of want to see how strong... Uh, I can't really see that army, unfortunately. Ooh, Sokka Noble Cavalry. I didn't know the Seleucids could even get that. Damn. So this could be a pretty tough battle. If they attack, it's probably going to be from two sides at once. So I don't think I want to let that happen, honestly. I'm not sure how long this episode's been going. We've had two battles already, so I may cut it here, but just keep recording and split that episode and make a third one here. So I think I'll do that. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time for episode 11.